We're having a little bit of Halloween fun today with the Adams Family theme. It's a quirky, bouncy little tune that lends itself perfectly to being played on guitar as a finger picking pattern. I've transposed this into the key of D. It makes it much more accessible to being played on guitar. So we'll be using the chords D, G and A, which are the one, four, five in the key of D. I've incorporated the melody with a simple root bass note. It gives us a cheeky little finger picking pattern. There are four main shapes in this tune. The first shape is the D. So I fret the D chord with my fretting hand. On the picking hand, I use my index finger to play the G string. My thumb plays the D string and my middle finger plays the B string at the same time. My third finger comes down to play the E string. If you prefer to use your middle finger for that, you can do. We then come back up with the middle finger, play the B string, and then on the fretting hand, take off the third finger to open the B string and play the open B string with the middle finger. The next shape's the G chord. We can reach for this while the open B string's ringing out at the end of the D chord. So we just need to re reach for the low E. We play that with our thumb on the picking hand and we play at the same time with our index finger, the G string. We, with our middle finger, play the high E string. And the next thing we do with our fretting hand is add our third finger onto the third fret of the B string. And with our middle finger on the picking hand, we play that. So we have this. The next chord is the A chord. We don't need the top finger for this one. I fret it out of habit and best practice, but you don't need to actually put that there if you don't want to. The picking pattern for this is the thumb on the A string, the middle finger on the B string. We play those together. We then play the E string with the third finger or the middle finger, we come back up and play the B string. And then with the first finger, we come back up and play the G string. So we have this. From there, we're going to a D shape, but instead of the open D that we played previously, we're going to go to this one here. Now this is the same shape as a C chord, but we slide it up two frets and we have elements of a D chord. From this, we're gonna put the thumb on the A string, the first finger on the D string. We play those at the same time. And then with our middle, our third or ring finger, we play the B string. So slowly going through those four chords, We repeat the same chord pattern again. On the D, the G, the A is different. For this, we play the A string with the thumb and the B string with the middle finger at the same time. We play the first finger on the G string we go back to the B string with the middle finger, but on the chord hand, take your third finger off, play the open B string, then replace it and play that again. And then we jump to our original open D chord and play the D string with the thumb and the B string with the middle finger.
like to play this through again. Once we've done this, we have the quirky little bass line. So the bass line is playing the open A string with the thumb. We play in the second fret A string with the middle finger of the fretting hand and the pinky comes up to play the fourth fret of the A string and then we play the open D string. Now if you don't want to play those frets with your middle and pinky then by all means play them with your first finger and your third finger. I like to play them with my middle finger and pinky because we then move on to play this which makes it much easier to transition if you've played the previous part with the same fingers. So we have the A section at which point I mute the strings by resting my fingers lightly on them here and then just do two strums. I then play the B section, which goes from the second fret of the A string second fret A string, fourth fret A string, first fret D string, second fret D string. And we play that twice together. We then revert back to the A and do two mutes. All together, into the tune again. Here's a tune that's just a little bit of fun to play. You don't have to play it quick, just have fun playing it. If you're not yet able to do the picking pattern, I'll show you now how you can just strum simple chords and sing along. As I mentioned before, the chords for this song are D, G, A and D. So if you were just going to be singing along to it, then these are the only chord shapes you would need to play. All we need to do is do two down strums at its most basic level for each chord. If you're in the mood for another theme tune, check out the lesson on the James Bond theme here. It's a simple, recognisable theme tune. Go and have some fun. See you next time.